Should a few things stay a secret in a relationship, after you hit the safe place, they used to have a room in the house, and it has some sort of computerized lock on it. They needed to sort out the code, where when you got in there, what was in there, she said damnation, a major messy work area, and it was filthy with a with a PC on it. Hello, did you look on the PC, she said, oak. I did, I said, so what did you see, she said, man, a stripped man, I got it on tape in the fabulous universe of Hollywood. There are fans behind the stars who have an unquenchable hunger for shameful disclosures. And unforeseen truth, Steve Harvey, the most popular television character, stunned everybody with what he was taking cover behind his charming grin and sharp mind, the one who was showing everybody picking men, truly has a slippery truth behind his created veneer. And there are piles of indisputable proof that are hanging vigorously in the air. I'm not the individual I used to be well, the widely adored Steve Harvey, has been as of late affirmed betraying his better half, Marjorie Harvey. The rundown of his undertakings, as long as you realize that the man previously had separated from two ladies, just to find what suits him the best yet presently, he's prepared to change his sexual direction. Well, for a really long time, murmurs. And rumor have circled inside Hollywood, buzzes around, they have caused qualms about the heteronormative account. Steve Harvey has so wonderfully developed, so presently, with a pile of indisputable proof available to us now, is the right time to stand up to the awkward inquiry that hangs intensely in the air. Is Steve Harvey drawn to men? Definitely Steve Harvey is drawn to men. Yet many could feel that it's a charge without proof, however. The proof can't be concealed for no longer Essie Berry, a social liberties dissident known for aiding casualties of unfairness, has stood in opposition to his obscure manliness. She has dropped a reality bomb that Steve sex Mary and his child have found a mysterious entryway in the house with an advanced keep on it. One day, he was away, Mary Steve's niece, and his child were home. And they fortunately sorted out the code when they got inside Mary saw a major work area with Vaseline in the cabinet. And what most was stunning to see that there were photographs of bear man on the PC screen I got out. Whatever I got out, whatever, are you discussing great? This is his life. Yet it's not possible for anyone to expect this from Steve. Not just this many fans have long hypothesized on Harvey's dubious remarks and unpretentious shortcomings during meetings and public appearances. By and large, these apparently guiltless minutes take on an entirely different importance. They leave fans addressing, was it all an innocuous joke? Or did it act as a window into a world that is yet to be revealed, Frankenstein said. She wedded him in light of his hot. What you understand, what Steve I would rather not say it, oak okay, okay. I just I didn't have a clue, gracious, wow, you need to say something since we can't pivot. And go you know what furthermore watchers have investigated Steve's closet and style decisions, frequently obscuring the lines of customary manliness with his faultlessly customized suits. And thinking for even a moment to mold decisions he challenges accepted practices, bringing up the issue of whether his demeanor mirrors an unfulfilled craving to overcome regular presumption. Well, the man has given such countless stunning remarks about dating people throughout the course of recent years. There's nothing that could prevent his tongue from talking anything that he enjoys as he's finished. All that from being homophobic to advancing orientation regulating and hostile to scholarly generalizations. Like while chatting on Great Morning America, to a man asked him about for what valid reason men go for a unintelligent and shallow ladies. Steve said, assuming that a person is out, for one thing it's ideal to go for shallow, unintelligent ladies, you would rather not tell truly brilliant lady. I simply maintain that should do something to you tonight. You would rather not tell that to a smart individual, since she'll let you know where to take all of that you need to find someone shallow, truly basic, unintelligent, that you can show this to I. And they'll stay there and go, wow, that sounds extraordinary. Yet this might appear to be one side of the story. Yet one specifically, Steve loathes Asian men. One had irritated individuals from the Asian people group. 
with a recoil commendable section that circulated on his syndicated program in January of 2017. During the portion, he tells a couple of abnormal wisecracks while making fun of the book How to Date a White Lady of Pragmatic Aid for Asian Men You Like Asian Men. I could do without Chinese food kid Harvey jests to the crowd through assortment. It doesn't remain with you no time I don't eat what I can't articulate many individuals. Notice that the fragment is with discussion too and viable aid for Asian men. Unfamiliar following this, the new off the beat writer, Eddie Huang, composed a commentary for the New York Times named Hello Steve Harvey, who says I probably won't take your young lady. Well, an explanation was given on the show in which Harvey appeared to be ignorant regarding the debate and said I ain't been chuckling that a lot throughout recent days they're somewhat thrashing me on the web right now for no great explanation except for you realize such is reality. Eight, it seems like Steve doesn't think from his cerebrum. His assertions against Asian men make a disarray locally and faced him via virtual entertainment. Steve got that with this disdain his prevalence could get a destruction on the grounds that a ton of fans he has are from the Asian people group. So the man at long last thought carefully and tweeted a conciliatory sentiment. I offer the humblest statement of regret for culpable anybody, especially those in the Asian people group last week. It was not my aim, and the humor was not met with any vindictiveness or discourtesy at all well. He isn't under a woeful mindset man who never thinks often about what he talks and what the outcomes could be. Steve loves his sexual assaulter, Fred Bill Cosby, who has been claimed of attacking more than 60 ladies. He acknowledges his kinship feelings and has no offense in anything that he's done he recognizes, having a unique interaction with Bill Cosby, and offers thanks for the help Cosby gave to his children at Morehouse School. He additionally credited Satan for showing them significant examples. The diversion business in a meeting distributed in 2015, Steve defied, I haven't conversed with him in a couple of months yet. When I'm your companion, I'm your companion, he said. And Bill Cosby helped my children at Morehouse School. And he showed me how to do this business. He didn't actually have any acquaintance with me. And he showed me how to do this business. Boldly, he likewise said, that when I heard all the difficulty he was in, I called and asked him how. He was doing you understand what he shares with me. Hello, man. I value you summoning, yet remain from me right now. You needn't bother with absolutely no part of this on you. You're doing great. Whatever happens to me happens to me. Yet don't get no part of this on you. That is something astounding for a person to say, folks. It seems like Steve has forever been against the gays and LGBT individuals. Yet he's frequently been seen supporting them in a meeting. Gus Kenworthy told Steve that when I emerge as gay to my family, they were totally cherishing and strong, sadly. That is not a reality for a ton of LGBT youth. When they tell their folks a ton of children end up on the roads shockingly, as opposed to scrutinizing the gays, Steve stood up in support of themselves. I surmise I don't get that part, assuming it's my child, it's my child. I could love constantly my child. After a show of approval from the crowd and the Kenworthy family, Harvey did what might get a kid removed from the Harvey family. Now on the off chance that you ain't figuring out, you must get well. We can say that Steve is being capricious in regards to his sexuality. Perhaps he adores men and is drawn to them, yet he needs to conceal it, particularly when he has children and a spouse. And two exes, no offense fans, are likewise shocked by his sexual inclinations. One of them remarked over the issue, when Essie uncovered Steve, I totally love this interview, M's Essie, is so courageous for emerging with this data. I love her strength and approach to passing on data. I simply feel so terrible when she was quiet and needed to convey this for such a long time. Thank you, Storm, for this interview. Another flying off the handle on Steve. Tricking his wives remarked, well, I realized this day would ultimately come. I followed the case with M's Barry and Mary once upon a time, and I was in stunningness. I sincerely accept the business, is finished with him subsequently losing his shows, and the duty circumstance. 
When they are finished with you, they never again safeguard and turn on you. The business is grimy, yet not quite so filthy as the karma Steve Gorilla. To get well, we can't precisely say that Steve will get openly uncovered for his direction, or he would report freely that he's gay. Yet we can guess that the man with this much mind is concealing something behind his two-sided connotation words. We should find out what occurs straight away. And when Steve transparently says, listen, my man, I'm gay. Till then, we can petition God for his third wife, who's being swindled. That is all there is to it for now, people. Until next time, farewell.